Good afternoon. Come on in. I've been looking for you. The coffee is ready. The cookies are ready. And I'm happy that you're here. I look forward to our visits every Friday afternoon. Uh, at my age, you start looking forward to things and you stop thinking about what's behind. Start looking forward. That's a good point, isn't it? So I want to talk today about <clears throat> things I've seen. One thing I've seen over in Channel 4, it says, Stronger Together. And then I don't watch anymore. And then I've seen other things that say, we're together in this. You know, it makes it a lot easier if we're together. And uh, to tell somebody you're not alone. Sometimes you feel that way. You feel that nobody else has been where I am now, but you're not alone. So I was thinking about that today. And I thought, uh, I'm a people person. I'm a sanguine. I like to be with people. I like a bunch of people. I like a lot of noise, a lot of excitement. Even if I can't hear very well, I still like the excitement. And I like, another thing I miss is going to church. I, I can read my Bible at home, I can pray, and I can feel God's presence. But it's not like being with the church. It's not like being with my friends. It's not like being with my pastor and those that know me well. But for now, I'll wait for that day and I'll look forward to it. Remember, we're together in this. It's easier to make a trip if you've got somebody with you. I've noticed in scripture, even Jesus sent people out two by two. It's not good for one person to be alone. Another area it says, if one falls down, the other one is there to pick him up. So it's not good to be alone. And going through this is hard to be alone. I don't want to complain to you, but I'm telling you it's been a trial to be alone during this time. That's why I look forward to visits and I need them. So far, God has kept me well, kept my family well, and I do see my family, how grateful I am. So I've noticed in the scripture that Paul was a people person. He talks a lot about individuals, talks a lot about people. And we see in the scripture that the day came when he was in prison and he was chained to a soldier. I think that's a lot worse than I have. He was chained to a soldier and he felt alone. But he was thinking of people. He was thinking of all the people that had been in his life. And I noticed in Romans chapter 16, almost the whole chapter is mentioning people. And he's thanking people for this. He's thanking people for that. He said, I thank you for my beloved co-workers. Thank you for those who worked with me. Thank you for those that helped me. He's saying thank you. He's thinking of people. So I want to tell you during this time, think of people. Don't sit in your house and just think about yourself. How about thinking in people? Think about people that have helped you. Who's helped you in your life? Who's given you a call? Who has sent flowers? How about a plant? Who has called? Who has sent a text? Think about people. And not only should you think about them, but you reach out. You be the first one. You be the first one to write a little note and say, hey, I'm thinking about you, and we're in this together. Some people say, well, I'm not much of a writer. Come on, that's just two sentences. You can do it. I'm thinking about you, we're in this together, and your name. It's gonna cost you to mail it, but it'll be a blessing to somebody. So, neighbors have shown kindness to me. Just today, a neighbor came over and said, look, I'll cut your tree that was pushed over during the hurricane. And I said, well, who can I get to do it? And how much will it cost? Nothing. I want to do it. That's the kind of thing we can do. Reach out to somebody. Reach out and be kind. Second Timothy 4.9. 
sorry. Okay, 2 Timothy 4, 9. He's writing to Titus, the book is, and Timothy rather. Do your best to come to me quickly. For Demas, because he loved this world, has deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica. And then he says, only Luke is with me. Bring Mark, because he is helpful to me in my ministry. So he's telling Timothy, come soon. Have you ever felt that way? You want somebody to come soon. And sometimes you can say to a friend, you know what, I've been thinking about you, and one of these days I'm gonna drop over, even if we have to talk outside with a mask, but you haven't done it, how about doing it? He said, Timothy, come soon. And I wanted to cry because I thought this great missionary Paul felt the need of people. You need people around you. We're not made to isolate ourselves. Paul reached out to Timothy. Timothy was his spiritual son, and he said, come quickly. So remember, we're stronger together. We're together in this, and together we're gonna make it. David was a king, and the scripture says a whole list of people that worked with David. And then at the very end, it says, and Hushai was his friend. Do you have a friend like that? And I've thought, what kind of a person was Hushai? I think he was loyal. He was loyal to David. He was a good friend. Maybe he was the only person that David could really unload to. That's the kind of friend. It's been uh, going on 15 years since my husband passed away. And I can't tell you what a change it was for me. For the first time in my life, I slept alone. I came from a big family. I always had a sister with me. We always had to bunk together. And when I married, it was my husband. This time I was alone. That bed seemed so big. I missed having somebody with me. But then I got a friend from the church. She visited me several times during the week. And she drove up and she said, I'm here to visit. And she came in and it was just like old times. We talked about trips to Mexico. We talked about the people we loved there. We talked about the Lord. We sang. We remember the good times. And it was like a balsam on my heart. It comforted me. And when I went to bed at night, I didn't feel quite so alone. I'd had a friend during the day. That's the kind of friend you could be. Give somebody a call. Say, hey, I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for you. That's the kindest thing you can do for someone. Say, I'm praying for you. I care about you. And then, you know, we know, I know that Jesus has said he's with us. And so often I say, I know you're here, Lord. I know you're with me. But oh, I would love to see someone. Oh, I miss the hugs at church. I want to see my people. I want to be with people over again. And the Lord says, I'm with you. Trust me. He doesn't say this is going to end soon. He just says, trust me. And all of a sudden, I don't feel alone. And so this is what God has put on my heart. Let's be in this together. Take time to reach out to a friend. Be a real friend. Wear your mask, sanitize, but do something. Send a note, send a text, send an email. Tell somebody, we're in this together. And remember, above all, Jesus is with us. And like Paul felt the need for people when he was in that prison. And he said, Timothy, come soon. He wanted to see Timothy. Do you have somebody you'd like to see? Do you have somebody you're missing? Pick up your pen, write a note. Say, hey, I've been thinking about you. I have a really good friend in Minnesota. And if I see her today, if she walked through the door, we'd pick up where I left off before. We're very, very good friends. It only takes a minute. 
I can't tell you how much fun it is for me to go to the post office wearing my mask six feet back and buy some stamps. I bring the stamps home and I say, yes, I can write notes now. I can write letters. I can reach out to people. Do it. It makes you feel real good and it makes you feel less alone. We're stronger together. Don't give up. We're stronger. You're stronger than you think. God has not forgotten us. And sometimes he uses people to come alongside us when we're feeling tired and say, hey, do you need somebody? I'm here. I'm here for you. That's what we need to do. Reach out to someone. You'll feel so good afterwards, okay? Father, help us to reach out. Help us to come along with people that need encouragement with a text, with an email, with a note, just to show our love, Father. I pray that we'll strengthen each other and say together we're gonna make, make it. Together we can do this. Come alongside. And you know we're not alone, Father. I know we're not. Because there are many, many who love you. Many who are praying for us. Many who are behind us. We're not alone. And I thank you for that, Lord. And I pray that you'll give courage to people today where they need courage. Rest. May they rest in you tonight. In the name of Jesus, amen.